with me to explore the great north, the great north of Minnesota. We are leaving the Twin Cities and heading up north to Northwoods A-Frame near Itasca State Park. It is about a four hour drive and as always I will show you guys what there is to see, do, and eat along the way. So come along. village in Nisswa, Minnesota, which is this cute little downtown area with some shops and restaurants that are a good place to stop over on your way up north. And we are now going to stop at the MN Traders Co, um, which is like a gathering space, a coffee shop, they also have food, cocktails, things like that. And we're going to get some lunch and coffee and then continue on our journey up north towards Bemidji. cabin we were staying at so we decided to just drive in quickly and check it out. A lot of the roads and trails are closed for the winter um, but we're just gonna see how far we can drive and what we can see and um, if we can get to the Mississippi headwaters possibly. We just pulled over at the Mississippi headwaters. We're gonna see if we can get a state park pass and then see the headwaters. Just arrived at this beautiful A-frame. In the middle of the woods. Let's head inside and I'll give you guys a tour. You 
have your entryway with some coat hooks. There's also a full washer and dryer if you have to do any laundry during your stay. Beautiful mural. So we walk down the hall. You have your first door is the first bedroom. You have a large bed. You're looking out towards where you parked your car, nightstands, and then if we go this way, we have a pretty large full-size bath with a vanity, toilet, shower, and everything you need. With a waterfall shower head, there's also shampoo, body wash, and conditioner provided. The toilet itself. And there is also some storage. And then from the bathroom, we can exit back into the hallway space. We enter the main living space. In the main living area, you have a dining, your couch and seating area with very cute decor. You also have two other chairs and a wood-burning stove. And in the living space, we have this big kitchen. It has different kinds of coffee makers for you to use during your stay, gas burning stove, another skylight where you can see the woods, and then all the other utensils and things you would need. We also received a really cute welcome gift from Tyler and Mary. A little note, some local coffee from Fargo, North Dakota, and then some popcorn from the area as well with their logo on a sticker and an A-frame notepad. These large French doors walk out to the woods. Grill outside, if you want to grill out, do a barbecue. There are also some chairs for sitting, just currently filled with snow. There's also a fire pit out yonder. And you can snowshoe straight from the property. There is an area called the shed that you'll see driving into the A-frame where you can pick up some snowshoes and explore the nature around. Right off the dining area, you have your staircase. So let's go downstairs first. There is extra firewood. Bathroom down here as well. The bedroom in the basement. Large queen bed. You can see some of the snow that has piled, so you still get some natural light from this window. And then through the sliding door is the maker space that is perfect for all so sorts of arts and crafts. You can see how much supplies, sewing machines, paper, things like that if you want to get a little creative on your stay. Heading upstairs to the loft, you will see this beautiful greenery and we have two skylights here.
there's also this reading nook with a chair and a bunch of books. And we enter the bedroom in the loft area. So that concludes the tour of the Northwoods A-frame. There are also two other cabins you can rent on the property. There are two tiny cabins, so they obviously host a lot less people. But if you are interested in renting or looking at the cabin, I will have the information linked down below. leaving the A-frame for a little bit and going to head into Bemidji to see what there is to see and do there. our quick explore in Bemidji. We just hung around the downtown area, got some food, explored a few little shops and things, and now we are back at the cabin to relax for the afternoon, hang out, and enjoy the beautiful space. That concludes our Northwoods adventure. If you ha want more information about the Northwoods A-frame or their tiny cabins, you can check out the information down below. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.